What happened? To me? Well, I just got turned around a little, Zoll. And then the key... No, I mean, what happened to you? Lindell waved his hand up and down to indicate the whole of Alex Strongblood. To who you used to be. Let's not start this whole conversation again, right? It's far too early and you've been up all night. How can you say it's early? Come on, look at yourself. Look at us. We used to be more than this. Listen, Alec was accusing, indignant. Things change, but I'm still your father. I put a roof over your head, give you a bed to sleep in. The disgust was impossible for Lendl to hide. His father snorted and turned away, but Lendl stepped around him. I used to look up to you, he said fiercely. Is this really all that's left of Sir Alex Strongblood? A heavy dark cloud seemed to pass over Alex's face, his eyes distant. Then grabbing a fistful of tunic, he drew Lendl close. Son, there are some things in life you cannot control. Sometimes you grab life by the neck and you shake it. You live your dreams, you know what's right, and by the gods you fight for it. For a moment, those intense blue eyes of his cleared. For a moment, Lendl saw something of the father he'd known, strong, proud, and confident. But his eyes grew dull, and Alec turned loose of Lendl's tunic, shrinking into his favorite cushioned chair, the very picture of defeat. Sometimes, my boy, he continued, trance-like. Sometimes, life steals your passion away and scoffs at you for dreaming.